Good morning, class. Ms. Dobie and Ms. Martin are here to review some of our math. We sent home number 29, number 30, and number 31. We will be working with 29 today. Obviously, we have the numeric representation and we also have the word representation, 29. We also have our words of even or odd. Remember to use your numbers chart and if you skip count by twos, you are in your even numbers as you go across. If you are not in the twos, four, six, you're in your odd numbers, one, three, five. And that's how you're going to determine. Use your numbers chart. One more, remember class that one more is starting at 29. So we are plus one. So if you have 29, you're going to give me the number that comes after 29, one more plus. We want to look at back at 29 again, and you're going to go one less. So we're at 29 and we're subtracting, taking away one less. See where you end up on your numbers chart. And that is the number that you will put in here. We've been reviewing our 10 frames, and we now know that if a 10 frame is completely full, its value is 10. So here we have one completed 10 frame, we have another completed 10 frame, and we've been working on adding those together. Zero plus zero, and see what you come up with. One plus one, see what you come up with. That is the number that you're going to put in the tens place. 29 has 10 you guys figure that one out. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> and over here, we have our ones place. We're missing a dot, so we don't have 10 here. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we know in our ones place, we have nine. Now you need to take that addition, put it in there to represent your tens place, and take this and represent your ones place. Very easy if you look at your numbers chart to skip count. Practice that, guys. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Keep working on those skip counts by two. But to complete your 29 page, please trace, and then we'd like you to space and place another number. Space and place another number. Also, we're right back here. Here was our number word. Here it is represented. Let's practice proper formation, top to bottom, left to right. You'll be also practicing this concept if you go to your math book. You're gonna be looking at page 111 and you are going to be doing representation. Page 111 is the number nine. So you will see what the representation Oh, look at this little clue. You've already practiced it once. So you're going to be at page 111 and you're going to have guided practice. They are asking for the first five to be represented on the top and the rest of the number to be represented on the bottom. You have a choice. You can do one color or you can use the two colors. Both of them are acceptable. You're going to continue through page 115, 116, 117, uh-oh, vocabulary check. Number S-I-X, six, S-E-V-E-N, seven, E-I-G-H-T, eight. Those are your vocabulary checks. And then 118, we'll finish out. You're gonna practice your number formation. Watch your sevens, watch your threes, your watch fives, please. Watch which way you're looking. Use your number chart for clues. Don't just write it. We want the, our number formation to be correct. You're gonna end with the beginning page of lesson five, number 10. And you are going to show us Oh my goodness, already practiced it, what a 10 frame looks like. And that, my friends, will be how you conduct your math through the rest of the week.